MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's the second game of the National League Championship Series between the Chicago Cubs and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Yeah, it was a good start for these guys at home. They did what they needed to do in the opening game, and this crowd really showed up and made a difference as well. Should be an electric atmosphere again, so we'll see if the guys on the field can feed off it and take a commanding lead in this series. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. Antonio Senzatella is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Baez breaks from first. In there. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make it in. Now with the plate, Marcel, franchise, as the he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Franchise. Here's the pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful oh, pitch two. there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the... Now at the plate, up Marcel, up franchise. The catcher, Marcel, franchise. First offering on its way. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. And with two away, let's check in with our up-to-the-minute playoff bracket. And you can see our series at 1-0 as things are starting to heat up here as we get later into October. Leading off the inning, Marcel, franchise, and they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. Well, he got a lot of that ball, but nothing to show for it to start the home eight. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance.
this one. Definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Cubbies have evened up this series at one game apiece. Hyunjin Ryu gets the W on the mound. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney on the field, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody.